Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Here, back with another video. Like, too dark in here, isn't it? Turn on the light. Now, that's better. So, today, making another video. You see, I'm starting to make more videos. I don't know. But, I was, like, sick, and I didn't want to make videos. So, yesterday, I made a video, so go check that down. It's right here. And yeah, so today is W W E figures. They're like the newest figures right now, like the new series. Oh, I'm so excited! And my grandma bought these for me, so we're gonna start off. If you could guess, the Elite Series 54. Go down in the comments right now and say who are they. Elite Series 54. Found them at Walmart. Wait. The back. Walmart. Okay. With the first one. We have Jimmy Uso. I don't know if the light light is good, but Jimmy Uso. We got Jimmy Uso. Jimmy. So I gotta get something to open them. Okay, guys, here, I brought something to open my toys. It's my special something for my keys. Okay, so here's the package. If you want to see the bats here. There's not a good lighting here. There, there's not a good lighting. Like, I don't know if you could see them, but the lighting here. I'm learning something. Okay, there is better lighting. So here are, are the career highlights. They're the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the WWE Tag Team Champions. And I'm just so happy to get these. Get this figure. So we'll open the next one up there. In my car. You have to like feel the box. For unbox, so this is an unboxing video. Take out the tape. I don't think I need these. They're not like the old ones. The old boxes. Like the old boxes, you needed to cut in them with the knife. And these ones look better. I like these boxes. I, I think the first time they came out with this box was with that Tyler Bate exclusive. And I haven't had a chance to pit that Tyler Bate from Ringside Collectibles Figure Insider. I'm just kidding. It's just called Ringside Collectibles. And when Bill showed these figures, I was like, man, I have to get these. But I couldn't find any of the... Of them. So... And my Walmart right now doesn't have nothing of toys. So that was pretty weird for me that I found them. Okay, so I unbox them. And when, so yeah, I was saying when Bill got these, when she showed these, I like said I had to get them. Oh, and the. the that feels like kind of oh what is this? Oh wait, I only got this thing? Well I don't use the dioramos, so I don't use the dioramos, so oh wait. Just popped out. Oh yeah, it's here. So it's the drawing. That looks sick. Now it's the little cardboard poster. Get that out of there. And we'll build the diorama right now, so. So, yeah, well, let's, I was saying these Usos figures. When I saw Bill saying that they were coming out, I had to, like, find them. But my Walmart never has nothing. And I, I got surprised. So here's the diorama. Oh, and they used a new face. They use a new face on scan material technology, so I heard wrestling day no wrestling hero fits. 
um, he was, um, he was, um, um reviewing these figures, and he said that this Jimmy Uso face stand is not the Jimmy Uso face stand that he will, like, see, so he says that he liked the figure. The figure was good, but just didn't really like the face stand, so. Finally, so, oh my god, these are sick. And they still have that old, so look at that, ooh, so, so, I'm gonna take off the jacket. Okay, so I took off the jacket, the jack, the, I mean the, so I like, it's like plastic fabric, and it's, it's pretty cool. So here's the Uso with this shirt. Jimmy, yeah, right, it's Jimmy. Okay, so, trying to take off this, oh snap, and look at this figure. It looks beast. Mm, look at this. That looks sick. Alright, so that's... So, a lot of details here. All the tattoos. I, uh, mostly that tattoo is pretty sick. So, my last two souls, they didn't have all these tattoos. So, that's pretty cool. And I had the last two souls that I got was the ones... Was the paddle, battle pack. When there were face paint Usos. So here's the jacket. So here it is. All the accessories. And they, it came with good, pretty good accessories. Hopefully next time it comes with those tattooing titles. So who would you guys guess that I got? Maybe it could be the other half of the... Usos, and this face scan is just beast. Okay, so this face scan was beast, and now I'm just gonna like, shh, like I don't know, but the Usos are sick now. I just I was not really that into the face paint Usos in 2010. I was into the face paint Usos when I think it was 2010 or was it 2011 when they made their debut and they won the tag team titles. I don't know, but so this Uso is just these Usos right now are just pretty amazing, pretty darn amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna box it. But this okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's the part of the diorama. And the other parts of the diorama. So I'll just build this real quick. Okay guys, so I built the diorama. Oh, I forgot which one's which. There it is. There it is. Uso. And this just... I like this Uso better because... Just this face scan. It just looks beast. It looks wicked. They put a lot of details. This Mattel did a good job, and it's the same thing. The sweater is plastic, so there it is. And so I'm just gonna take off the the jacket, and I'll show you it. Okay, so that was not that hard at all. So this Uso is just really detailed, like all of these tattoos, and I love this head scan compared to Jimmy's. And it's good. So, here's the bandana. And I 
I think this was their debut attire for the Hio Uso, so that looks pretty sick. And I'm pretty sure this fits on Jimmy. Pretty sure. And it does. So the Uso. I prefer that on Jey Uso. But I love that head scan. They did a pretty good job on that technology. So. Yeah, so now I'm just going to put all this stuff on. It's pretty detailed. Mattel did a good job with these figures. So, yeah. So, just put it on his jacket. Like, this one was not that hard to put on. And these are pretty good fabric. They use pretty good materials. Material for the jacket. Uso. Putting in back on the box. So it's weird that I'm gonna leave one back on the box. I just, just want to review it and put them back on the box. Here he is on the box. Okay. Okay, so that was it for today's video. Wait, I think I forgot to try something out on J. Okay, so I'm gonna try this thing that belongs to Jimmy on J. All right, so J looks pretty good like that, and yeah, so these figures were awesome and. Okay, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video, and maybe later on, or I think tomorrow, we're going to make stress balls, so make sure to tune in for that video, and yeah, this was cool, guys. It was, I think these are the best Usos they have ever made. Mm -hmm. Mattel, good job. So, yeah, that was my reviewing on the unboxing and reviewing on the Usos. So, good job, Mattel. And you know what would have looked better on these? The Tag Team Champions. So, the good thing is that I have the old Tag Team Champions. I, ha I, didn't, get, I didn't really want those huge arms by Rhino or that Heat Slayer. I, I saw that the Heat Slayer was good, but eh, I just waited. I'll just wait for like Shelton. Nah, they haven't won. So, I don't know. Rooster Day, maybe? Someone. Someone that has won the tag team titles. Okay, guys. So, that was the review on the Usos. And yeah, like I told you, make sure to go and see that video of the um, Gooey one with my cousin yesterday. And yeah, so, and we might make the Orbeez tonight or tomorrow. So. Stay tuned for those video for that video and yeah. I like to thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash. And yeah. So. Ooh, so these were awesome. Peeps, later, peeps.